let x and y be the volumes m and n be the masses of two metallic cubes p and q okay we have cubes so let's say these are the cubes let's say this is p cube and each side of q is two times all right so we have a larger cube here which is q basically now we'll look at the calculations later on let's just draw this all right what do we have here let's see so we have two cubes here and it says x is the volume for the first one volume of p is x and the volume for Q is Y. Okay. What are the side? Each side of... So let's call the side as P and Q. Mnemonics ko follow karte hain. Each side of Q is two times the side of P. So can I say Q? If we call Q as the side, Q is exactly equal to 2P. And what are the masses? The masses are M and N, so the mass for P is M and here the mass is N and Q is 2 times that of P, the mass, can I say this is nothing but 2 times of M, N is nothing but 2 times of M, alright, now let's see what do we have as our question, kya bula cha hai? Okay, how do I calculate the volume for the first one? Can I say volume of the first one would be side cube? Volume of cube is side cube. So side is P. So this is P cube. So X is equal to P cube. What about the volume for Y? It is Q cube. The side is Q. Or you can call it 2P whole cube. Which is 8p cube y value is 8p cube all right and x value is p cube theek hai chalo dekhte hain ki question mein kya given hai bola ja raha hai u let u is m by x u is equal to m upon x and we also have one more relation that says v is equal to n by y all right in place of x can i write pq so it would be simply as u is equal to m upon pq okay acha second wale pe can i write v is equal to n ke place pe 2m using this so instead of n can i write here 2m and instead of y can i write this as 8 P cube now let's simplify this would be 4 4 is cross multiplied with V this becomes 4 into V this is M by P cube and what do we have as M by P cube we have it as U so can I say 4 V is equal to U now let's see which option is given hai? u is equal to 4v option a is absolutely correct this is what we have from our derivation and this is what we have exactly in one of our options so option a is our correct fit here i hope this helps